Let me show you something. I want you to look at this little corner of my house. It is dark in here. It's gonna rain today, it's gonna rain, rain. Look at that, that's a new moth that I bought. That's water, that's a delivery from Chewy. Of course, you all know my vacuum's always sitting out because I vacuum all the time. Anyway, Olivia is, um, Tuesday coming up is her uh, moving day. You know, all know she's moving out and it's like, I'm telling you, I'm a mess over it. Boxes stacked up. These are unused boxes. She hasn't used yet. Those, I got those from work. She's got a few things sitting here. This is all of her, um, some of her kitchen stuff, which is, you know, we've bought everything brand new, just about more empty boxes, some more stuff that she's bought, um, a blanket, a bedspread, more empty boxes, a shelf. She's got a brand new vacuum cleaner there. And here is um, a couple beach towels that I got for the pool. Um, went to Walmart yesterday. Look at these. Those are going to be so cute. A lot of fun. Some pillows that she wanted. This little table is just stacked full of stuff. That's my nursing bag back there. More empty boxes. My husband's shoes. He thinks he has to have 15 pairs of shoes sitting in here at all times. I have a cord and it's so humid out. My bangs are not going to stay like this at all. I got something to show you. I want you to look at that. There is a little barn kitty. She's a kitty of a barn kitty. I need to get a mama girl fix, but look, she had babies. I want you to look at those babies. We put them in a box and she seems to be okay with it. Look at her. She's not very friendly, but that's all right. We're working on it. Look at those babies. So if any of you are on the market for a brand new, brand spanking new kitty, let me know if you live close, then I can make that happen for you free of charge. I don't know if you can see it. Let's look down in here. That's my neighbor's yard. And she has her cows in the backyard. It'll move in a minute. There's two of them. There, there's a better shot. Oh, there's another one. There's the other one. Right there. Do you see it? And there's one right there. But every time I let my dogs out... Those cows, of course they bark. Those cows come running over to the fence and it scares me to death. I don't, you know, I don't know if cows can be mean. I don't know, but I'm, I get scared that something's gonna happen. So here I'm out here hollering for my dogs to go in. The only way I can get them in is scream baloney because they know baloney means a snack. They love baloney. Look at that. Can you see those cows? They're going to be moving soon, um, within a couple weeks. They just sold their house. So I'm really, I'm really going to miss seeing these farm animals out here. You know, I showed you last year all the goats and stuff. Um, the goats are gone. Oh, look, look at the cow. Dang gone. They're so, they're big. I swear they could just come right over that fence. Let me see if I can make them get over here a little bit. I'm kind of scared of them. So let me see if I can make them moo. Moo! Rawr! Rawr! Probably think that's a mating call. Oh, did you see it look? These cows think I'm crazy. Anyway, let me tell you what I got going on today. Um, I was going to do a kielbasa, broccoli, rice, cheesy type um, dill. And we're in luck. Because I have some leftover kielbasa and rice that I cooked for Olivia the other day. She loves just kielbasa fried um, and a little bit of butter, you know, until it's nice and brown, and then a little bit of rice. So I may just do a um, leftover makeover with that, and then I won't have to use any um, of the kielbasa that I bought today or the rice that I bought today. But it's going to have broccoli in it and cheese and kielbasa and rice. It's going to be good. I'm also going to do another, um, what else am I doing? I'm going to do another quick um, pasta recipe. You all know, you all know my love for pasta. If I didn't love pasta, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be looking, um, you know, as plump as I look. I love pasta, but I'm going to do another very quick and easy um, throw together pasta recipe that you're going to absolutely love. 
Um, it's tomato, basil, some olive oil. Um, it's very quick, very easy. I think that's all I'm going to do today. I'm going to do um, a couple more recipes, maybe tomorrow. I had some dirt delivered today because I got some um, beds, some uh, flower beds, but I'm not going to use them as flower beds. They're not, they're raised um, garden beds. I got those because it's going to be easier because I'm not going to raise that many um, plants this year. Well, I don't really raise a lot anyway. I mean, we stopped doing that back in the day when um, my dad lived with us because he used to raise a huge garden. But I'm going to, we got one of them put together. I had some um, topsoil delivered today. And um, I'm going to get those together. And then tomorrow I'm going to get a stock slayers and buy me some tomatoes and whatever else I'm going to put in them. We still need to put one of them together. Um, so, but I'm thinking, I got my window open. So I'm sorry about the noise. What I'm thinking is um, I may plant this week. And then maybe next week or the week after, do the other one. That way my veggies are um, coming. They're going to be like mature a couple weeks apart. I think that would be best. But I don't know. We may put them both together, put the other one together tomorrow and just plant them both. But that's the plan for today. That's my plan for today. It is Friday. I hope you guys had an amazing week. So I'm going to get a few things done around the house. There's really nothing I can do until all these boxes are gone. And... Um, all that so I'm gonna get some laundry done and then we're gonna get a quick and easy lunch together I'm cutting up some garlic here we're just gonna slice it I'm gonna let me pull the window down a little bit because it is so loud out there all the cars going by cut that little piece off I'm just gonna roughly um, chop this up you don't have to be minced or anything terrible we're just doing a small um, portion of this today Got that cut and then we're gonna take our broccoli uh, I'm gonna cut this is just a like a small little head of broccoli good lord this thing was like five dollars for this little piece and I'm gonna want my um, florets a little bit small I don't want them that big so I'm going to go ahead and cut these in half. Might not even need all that. And I'm just going to kind of cut some of the bigger stalks off there, if you will. Because I'm not really sure how much um, rice and kielbasa I have left. I probably better look and see. I don't think it's that much, but look, I'm just making them nice and small. They don't have to be really big. I'll save that other piece to roast for another time. I love um, refrigerator makeovers. It's always fun seeing what you can create making, um, you know, something else out of something you've already eaten bring life back to it you know all right that's perfect now what we're gonna do is and I'm gonna tell you because uh, I had planned on making this anyway today so I'm gonna tell you walk you through the steps as I'm making this uh, for what you would do if you're doing this from scratch if you don't have leftovers in your refrigerator I mean not everybody has leftover kielbasa and rice in the refrigerator right we're going to start off by adding a couple tablespoons of butter to my pan there. You can use olive oil, you can use butter, but I'm going to use butter uh, because of the, you know, the vegetable, broccoli. Um, I think butter would pair better with that. I want that melt. Add our garlic and our broccoli in. Oops, there's a stem. Now, if you're doing this from scratch, you're going to do it a little backwards. 
you're not going to add your um, broccoli in right away, what you would start off with doing is sauteing your onion and your garlic first. And then you would toast your rice in with that once your onion and garlic is um, nice and translucent. Just a little bit of pepper to this. And just a tiny bit of salt. Not a whole lot because you're, we're also going to add some chicken stock as well. And once you have um, some of the once you have the rawness of the garlic cooked out, we're going to add a cup of chicken stock. This is a cup of water and a bouillon cube. Probably should have started that bouillon cube in there earlier, but that's okay. It's going to melt in here. Lid on. We're going to let this go for about two or three minutes. I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder in here. Let me see if we're, we are where we need to be. Let me get one of the bigger ones. I don't want it all the way done. Oh. Ma'am, ma'am, side note, you want a good broccoli um, side dish instead of uh, roasting it or steaming it, this is it. A little bit of chicken stock, garlic, and onion powder. Doesn't take but a minute. All right, this is the leftover kielbasa and rice that we had uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday. I'm just going to add that in. And I'm going to add it in while I've got a little bit of liquid in here because I want that rice. Just dump it. That's all I can do is dump it. I want that rice to absorb some of that delicious um, chicken stock and um, other flavors. Man, that's going to be a big old mess, isn't it? A big old mess. It's kind of going to give that rice life back again. Olivia loves kielbasa and rice. It's one of her go-to's. I always keep it on hand. It's quick and it's easy. It's something I can throw together, uh, you know, before I go to work or what have you. She's like really starved. We're going to let the rest of this heat through, the rice and the kielbasa. Now, if you were doing from um, start to finish, after you browned your kielbasa, you would remove that. You would add in your rice and toast it up just a little bit, and then you would add in about four cups of chicken stock. And then your uncooked broccoli, and that would get us to this point. All right, I'm gonna let this heat through now that the rice has absorbed some of that liquid. Let that heat through for just a minute. Place the lid back on it. All right, now that the liquid is all absorbed and everything is heated nice and through, we're just simply gonna add the cheese to this. You can add any kind of cheese you want, any kind you have on hand. I've got some shredded Cheddar, and that's what I'm adding. It smells so good. Look, there comes the dogs. Just gonna add it right on top. Now, I, you know what? I really prefer, and I'm gonna ask you to do this. Um, buy the block cheese. It's so much better. But guess what? I forgot it. I forgot it. And we always have this on hand. No pups. I'm going to give you some. Now I've got the heat off. I don't know why it's so dark in here. I'm going to put the lid back on it and let the cheese melt and then we'll be ready to eat.
one per bite. Smells so good. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, you talking about tasty? Try another bite. Cause I gotta be sure. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So good. The only thing I change make sure that you use the name block cheese. It's just as cheap. When you're buying it, you can usually get a block for like $2.29 and it's so much better than the cheese that you um, sprinkle on because that cheese has like a coating, like a dusty um, coating and it just prevents it from um, melting perfectly. But I forgot it, so I used what I had on hand, but it's still absolutely amazing. You know I love you guys very much and I appreciate you. Hey, if you're not following me on um, Facebook, Follow me on Facebook. If you're not following me on um, YouTube, make sure you go over there and subscribe to that. You can help support this channel, help support your favorite YouTube creator on Facebook. There, um, You can send stars to help support your favorite creator. They are a penny a piece. Or you can, if you are following me on YouTube, if you are subscribed to YouTube, I have a join button down there for $4.99 a month. You have your own um, emoji. Uh, and things that you can use when you make your comments. I'd appreciate your support. You know how expensive things are. You know how hard I work for you. You know I love you. I'd do this anyway. I appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.